Today we're gonna be turning my destroyed saltwater pond back into a pristine dream saltwater pond. If you all remember when I built this pond, probably about a year ago now, we started from the ground up with just the sandbags to the pond, to laying the sand, to building a rock structure, adding water, and adding a whole bunch of cool fish. Now over that course of time, I've gotten extremely busy, but officially I'm on spring break, baby. That means 10 days off of school. And that gives me a whole day to get this thing back to being beautiful and it starts right now. So it has been quite some time since you guys have seen this pond. We've got uh, fish guy Chris's Emperor Snapper who is in here and he's probably the biggest fish of them all now. You guys have not seen him inside of here yet. And then we got the newest fish, the newest, the latest and greatest, Rory. Rory has slowly became my favorite fish inside of here and he is just a little remora. He's about 10 inches and he is a beast. He doesn't stop eating. He loves to come up to you, including this guy right here. But we got the sharks inside us here as well. And we got a bunch of eels. Now, as you can see, over the course of time, the rock structure has completely just been demolished. And that's really going to be our main focus today. First things first, we got to get all of the fish out of there into these two bins right here. Save as much water as possible because we're going to be draining this thing all the way down. Pretty sure I'm taking all the sand out as well but the main focus is gonna be building a beautiful rock structure. And we're gonna do that with some coral crete or rock concrete, I believe, whatever. It's basically supposed to have rocks stick together. So if you have eels or anything like we have inside of here, when they go inside the rocks, they can't knock them down, crumble the whole entire rock structure that we're gonna spend hours on. And uh, it's gonna be good. I can't wait to have this pond back up and running. Really, really film it a heck of a lot more. Then we gotta worry about the outside here, but the main thing is, Get this pond looking beautiful. Look at this guy right here. He is like a shark. Let me know if you guys want me to keep him down below because right now, I don't know if I want to keep him. Oh, there was the shark. Okay, let's start with shutting this pond off. All right, that is much better. Look at Rory. He is He's so, he is so cool. There's the big old snapper, the emperor. He is, a, he's a big boy. He wants to eat. Oh, look at the shark. There's big old Richie. He's coming up. The other shark's right down there. We got a whole bunch of eels inside there. We got the panther grouper there. We got the snapper inside of here somewhere, but the pond is doing pretty well. Now let's start draining. Tori almost just got her freaking finger bit off by the snapper. And then we're gonna take the fish out one by one, put them inside here with some oxygen, and then get right to work. As soon as these fish get inside there, I wanna get them back in here as fast as humanly possible. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna use these two bins here. These each hold, I think, 55 gallons of water. And then I have a cooler in my truck that holds about 30 gallons. Then we're gonna put all the fish inside here we're kind of just going to go. I have an idea of what, how I want to do. I don't know if I want to take all the water out, but I kind of want to take the sand out. We're just going to see as it goes and uh, it's going to be great. All right, let's just get going. We've got the first bin flowing right now. We're going to fill this puppy all the way to the bitter top. I have some lids to go on this as well, but we're going to get all these fish out. We're going to space them out throughout three different bins. That way they all have kind of their own space, but then the magic's going to happen. We're going to get back to work, get this pond looking. 10 out of 10. We got all of the bins filled from this blue one to this white cooler here to that one absolutely filled to the brim. I really wanted to get this one in the shade, but probably in about 15 minutes, this palm tree is going to work with me here and it's going to be totally in the shade. Now it's time for, I guess the fun part is to get the fish out. So let's get to it. We're going to try and get Rory or the sharks first. Let's see. Come here, boy. Here comes Rory. <laughs> Rory, take it easy. Whoa, he's a fast little skipper. Don't hurt him. <laughs> well, guys, that was a good start. We snapped the net. <laughs> Rory. I feel like this happens every single time, the net freaking snaps. So you can take that. Just take. See you later. Now we're down to this. I think this, this, should, this should make it a lot easier. <laughs> Folks, it's time. We are going to be doing, be nice to me, Mr. Snapper. We are getting in this pond, and we are, we're getting serious. We are getting serious because you guys already saw what happened. We snapped the net in half trying to chase these fish around. So now you guys are GoPro'd up and we're getting serious. We're getting freaking serious. Hey, buddy. Mr. Snapper, be nice. You know what I think we should maybe do first, Tor? Huh. We should take all the rock out. We tried scooping the fish out. That completely failed. There's just too much rock inside here. So uh, we got to start by taking this rock out. So let's get to it. We've got the bulk of the rock out on the ground right here. Take a look at that. There is a lot 
of freaking rock. And it's now going to be much easier for us to get these fish out. So you guys are going to go on the GoPro right here until I catch one of these puppies. Then I'll show you guys it on camera. Then we'll put it in. Let's get to it. We got all the eels out and about right now. We have a big old snowflake right here. Oh my God. He's pissed. He's pissed. Come here, buddy. Come here. No, God, they scared me the way they slither like that. <laughs> Come here, dude. Got him. Got him. Got the snowflake eel. Got the snowflake eel. Let's go. There we go. We got the very first fish. Oh, snowflake eel. He's out. All right, here we go. We're going to put him in this bin here. Tori, you're going to have to shut that lid right away because otherwise he's going to swim right on out. Come here, dude. Get on out. Yep, shut it. Good job. There we go. First one in. Snowflake eel. Let's get more fish. All right, on to the next. See if we can get this big snapper. Come here, dude. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Big ol' emperor. Holy crap. We got the biggest boy in the pond. The biggest snapper. <laughs> well, this guy went flying two times. One time he jumped all the way out. Second time I caught him. Now I got a lid on there for him. That was chaotic. We got Richie Rich coming right here. Might be able to get him. Ooh. Ooh, got him. Job. Got him. Grab that lid over there, Tor. There we go. Get that guy inside of there. Stay down there, boy. There you go. He went right down to the bottom. Perfect. This is chaos here, folks. We got the first big shark inside of the bin. We still have a few more fish to get out. A couple eels. The grouper. R R uh, Rory the Ramora. That's a tongue twister if I've ever heard one. And panther grouper and snapper. We got a lot to do. Let's go. Come here, dude. Come here. There we go. So this is the eel that we got on the main channel. And we actually ended up bringing it to Chris's house. Then we brought it back to my house and into my pond. So this guy right here is wicked, wicked cool. He's a golden edge moray. And we're going to put him with Olaf. Come here, dude. There you go. He's in. Whew. Nice and easy. Another one down, baby. Another one down. We're doubling up on Rory here. Come here, Roar. Just let it happen, Roar. Let it happen, Roar. You heard the woman? Yes! Yay! We've got Rory. We're gonna have to double net him because he is such a small fish, but he's probably Tori and I's favorite. Oh, oh look, I knew he was gonna himself? go middle. I know he was gonna go right in between. You guys probably can't see him that well, but I'd rather just get him inside of the cooler. Get in there, chill with them. Look at him. Look at this cooler we have here. Fish, snowflake eel, golden edge moray, a little starfish, a little conch, another little starfish, and Rami, or Rory the Ramora. There we go, we're almost done. Oh my god, the snapper just went right in. The snapper literally just went right in. So this is a mangrove snapper. Take a look at that guy right there. He is a gorgeous, gorgeous mangrove snapper right there. Probably about a 14-incher. I don't know where I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna probably put him, I'm gonna put him with the sharks. Take this guy. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Got him! He really cooperated there. There's a big old panther grouper. Big, big grouper. Take a look at that fish right there. That is a gorgeous panther grouper. Really nice size one as well. Beautiful polka dots on him. He's obviously a little stressed out right now because, you know, he just saw a human being inside of his pond. But we're going to get him inside of here. Come here, little dude. God almighty. Get in there. Swim down. Down. Good. Down. Good. Perfect. Got him. Got another shark. Let's go. This is the smaller shark of the two. But we're going to put him in the shark bin. I really want to get to work here. It's uh, much later in the day than I thought it was going to be at this point in time. So we just got to hurry up. We got Marty. Look at the size of Marty. He is getting so freaking fat. It's not even funny. What a beautiful specimen of a fish. I mean, that is just, he is, he is gorgeous. I love Marty. All righty. Get him inside of there. Perfect. Everybody is inside. We're going to get oxygen on all of these guys. And, uh. We're gonna start constructing a rock structure. Little update for you guys here. We got all of the fish out. We saved about 130 gallons of water in these bins. And then I probably have a good 150 inside of here. I did take about, I would say 12 shovel scoops of sand out and put it in the bush over there. I did. Well, yeah, I scooped them and then Tori ran them. Thankfully for Tori, otherwise this video wouldn't be possible. But what do you guys think? Should we take more sand out of here? Let me know down in the comments. I can do about maybe one shovel every single solitary day. But we're going to start building the rock structure. I want to get these fish back in here within the hour because they've been in there for a little bit, maybe about 45 minutes. I want to get them back in here as quickly as possible. So uh, let's start building. Mm -hmm. 
folks there we have it take a look the rock structure is complete i swear i've literally already done a rock structure just like this before i've come to the conclusion that i'm not the best rock scaper all right i'm just not i think i'm gonna look into getting an artificial rock structure one that's literally already built that i can just tell somebody say hey i have an eight foot wide pond that's three and a half feet tall or three feet tall and i just need a rock structure to take up most of the pond and i just want it to look good because doing it rock by rock by rock is just it, it honestly drives me insane you should just listen to tori and i's conversation about how i was just going nuts because i just couldn't get it to look good but this is what i came up with so if you guys have any suggestions of where i could get some really awesome like pre-made rock structure please leave it in the comments down below because uh your boy would love to uh work with them and we maybe we could put together something really nice for this pond so if you have any suggestions please leave it down below i'm gonna start filling this pond up with water then we're gonna be getting the fish back inside we're starting to fill up the pond back with the original water then we're gonna put this snapper back in first and then use this bin to mix some fresh salt water i picked up some fresh salt from the store so we're gonna mix that up too I basically get a big old water change out of this as well so in just a little bit of time we're gonna have this pond back up and running and then we're gonna get the fish back inside yep those would be my little toes my piglets and there's tori's and tori do a turn yeah those are ruined folks we went through a lot today this took a heck of a lot longer than i thought it was gonna water's super murky but we got the pond back up and running and uh the emperor snapper i put back in because i needed his barrel so we can get a bunch of water mixed and put back in here so that's why the water's a little bit cloudy but we got everybody else over here we got the sharks inside here the mangrove snapper and the panther grouper right there those guys are doing well and then we got Rory the Remora, the yellow edge, or the yellow, no, the golden more eel, and then the zebra, Morio Marty, and Olaf. So this is just gonna take time to clear, but right now, folks, we're gonna get everyone back in the pond. Folks at home, folks at home, we have just measured the salinity. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, because it's completely empty, but we are spot on perfect. I have the pond not all the way filled, as you all can see, because I did take a lot of water out. I didn't want to add too much uh, new water inside of here. So in the next week or two, I'll go ahead and add that uh, extra like five-ish inches. Also, don't forget, let me know down below if you know of any awesome like artificial rock or any cool maybe real rock that somebody can go ahead and scape customized for my pond. Please, please, please leave it down below in the comments because I think it would just take this pond from looking good to looking unbelievable so with that being said let's go ahead get the fish back into the pond all right here we go got the first fish here going back inside this is the smaller shark of the two the water is extremely cloudy i already explained why but we're gonna go ahead and get this guy in here there you go buddy get on back in there so there's the little shark i'm gonna go ahead pick up the camera again in like a couple days once this water looks really good but i want to show you guys all the fish going back inside first oh here's richie oh that's a big old freaking shark right there folks that is a big, grumpy shark. Look at that guy right there. Big old bamboo. Go out that way, buddy. There you go. Back home. Back home. Who else we got in here? I know we got some more fish in here. Got a panda grouper. Got a panda grouper. Got a panda grouper. Wait. Easy, buddy. Easy. 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 Go on in. Go on in. Oh. That is everybody in this bin. Now we're going to go over here to, I think, what might be my favorite. We got Rory in here. Hey, little guy. Hi, Rory. Come here, dude. Do not you jump on me. Got that him. Was perfect. That was literally perfect. He's gonna go through maybe. No. Wee! He's in. Oh, he went right through. <laughs> Alright, well, Rory's in. That's good. We got Rory in there. We still have these eels inside of here. Look at these guys. Take a look at these eels inside here. Golden moray eel, a zebra moray eel, and a snowflake moray eel. All pretty darn good size. And then we got this little dude. Let's get this guy back in the pond. This little, this little chocolate chip starfish, go ahead and take it, Tori. You can go ahead and put them back. Before we get the remainder of these fish, I want to tell you guys that the Fish Guy Outdoor Collection is officially live right now on fishguy.shop. First link down in the description if you want to go browse the site. I'm pretty sure, I think they're already sold out in some sizes. It's like, it's almost sold out. So if you want to go browse, we got new hats on there, beanies, tumblers, performance shirts, quarter zips. Go browse the site. Everything's super high quality. Everyone who's bought it, your order's been shipped get ready to receive it got the snowflake look at this eel right here guys come take a look at that eel ain't he freaking cool or what 
He is a big snowflake eel, biggest one I have ever up. seen. Yeah, his head's out. All right, buddy. There you go. It's gonna be clear soon. He's gonna go love that new rock structure. Love that new rock structure! Look at Marty, guys. Come take a really good look at that fish right there. Look at the print on him. He looks like an illusion. The banded zebra Marty eel. Marty. Marty. Go ahead. There you go, big guy. Oh, there you go. Right into the rocks. Now, last but certainly not least, arguably the most pretty, the golden moray. Take a look at that eel right there. He is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get him inside. There you go, buddy. Go on in there. Go on. There you go. Go to the rocks. There he goes. All right, I'm going to kick this pond on. I'm going to clean up this mess, and I'll see you guys in a few days. So it's been a few days now. I'm about to give you guys the good old reveal of the pond. And uh, we actually got Chris right here. And he's here. He's, uh, he's taking somebody. He's taking somebody. He's taking somebody back, actually. We're taking him to a nice home, guys. Somebody is leaving the pond, Mr. Emperor Snapper. Look at that boy right there. He's inside of the cooler. He was in there. You guys all saw him. But uh, he's inside here now. He's going to be going to a really good home because you know what he's just getting too big all right he's, he's getting too big dude he's getting too big he's it's just big. what are you gonna do chris is gonna take him over to uh the store now where he's gonna get picked up by a new owner very nice gentleman or female i don't know but they're very excited for this brand new emperor snapper so we're gonna get this thing loaded up in chris's truck and i'm gonna give you guys the reveal so see you in a sec Alrighty, y'all here it is the grand reveal of the pond take a look we're starting to get a little bit of rain right now but look at the sharks right here they're super happy they can actually swim around a rock structure the eels are over there and i had like a kind of a high little point right here that they already crumbled but uh looks like the rain is about to start falling you guys can see it's not the most beautiful day here in florida but i'm super super pumped look how clear the water is everything looks so dang good the rock structure is holding up nice holy guacamole folks i don't even know where the heck i was but uh it started pouring and now we have a beautiful day a gorgeous day sun's out guns out look at this pond look at this pond right here folks now as you already know take a look look super close you can see marty right there booyah and then we got uh, Olaf and the other eel right there. Look what they've already done. Crumbled the rock structure, but at least this side over here all looks really dang good. We got Richie Rich cruising the pond, happy as ever, and we got Rory the Remora that I'm so excited to show you guys grubbing. Watch this. He has been smashing these pellets like not even funny. Look, oh, he was just on the shark. Did you guys see that? He was just on the shark for a second. Mr. Rory, come over here. Come in the sunlight, buddy. Come here. Watch this, you guys. Watch this one little pellet sets this guy to a whole nother dimension watch this right out there boom he's coming there he goes look at rory he is such a beast he's such a good eater watch he's gonna see those other pellets boom 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 this is exactly why rory is my favorite fish inside of this pond as of right now he is cruising the sharks are smelling the pellets as well look at the sharks over there it feels so good to be back filming this pond come here dude look at him come here boy Come on, there you go, Roar. It feels so good to be back filming this pond. We got Rory inside of here, and I want to get more fish like Rory. I'm going to keep the sharks for a little bit because they also are really dang cool. Did that shark just eat a pellet? I think he may have, but Rory's right there. He wants more. This guy can eat like nobody's biz. Watch this. There you go, buddy. Grub it up. Grub it up, Rory. Grub it up. There you go, big guy. He's a really cool fish because you know what, Rory... He, he doesn't hang around the rocks. The sharks are awesome when they're swimming around like how they are right now. But things like the eels and the panther grouper who's tucked way up underneath there, those guys all like to hide. But something like Rory, who's absolutely cruising, is just so much cooler. I am really pumped up to have the pond back. It feels really dang good. It's going to be much easier for me to uh, film videos because before I just... I didn't feel right filming videos with that pond the way it looked. Now that it looks much better, it's like full steam ahead i i told you guys about a little series that i wanted to start and if you remember you remember if you don't you don't and you'll see here shortly i think it's going to be kind of a cool series where you guys get to see only the pond and you'll get me for like maybe a few minutes in the beginning and a few minutes at the end and like 40 minutes of just awesome underwater shark feeding all right it's gonna be really really cool please don't forget if you have any suggestions as to an artificial rock structure please leave it down below in the comments something that's gonna hold up take up a lot of here customized whether it's real or artificial rock i really really don't mind if you guys have any suggestions as to where i can find something like that i'd be happy to uh 
look into it and see if they want to work with me. I think it could be something really, really cool for the pond. If you guys haven't checked out the new Fish Guy Outdoor Collection on fishguy.shop, first link down in the description, we still have some pieces still available. Some sizes are already sold out, but if you want to go check it out, first link down in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what other fish you guys want to see go inside. The pond is back, ladies and gents. Get ready for the videos. I love you all so much. I'll catch you on that next one. Later.